Hello guys, thank you so much for being here with me. My name is Kathy Mara Queen and welcome to my channel. So this channel is all about fashion, design, art. If you love these things, you just have to subscribe, share it to your friends, like the video, and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is Mara Queen Designs. I post fashion tips and just daily things that will help you to grow your fashion knowledge. So let's get started. So today's topic is such a game changer. The reason is because you're just gonna say goodbye to the old and boring outfits that you might be done with. You might be already tired of wearing a white shirt and black pants. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to combine colors with the color wheel. The color wheel is composed of the primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. If we combine the primary colors, we get the secondary colors, which are green, violet, and orange. If we combine primary colors with secondary colors, we get the tertiary colors. So for example, if I combine blue with green, I get blue-green, and if I combine orange with red, I get red-orange. So now that we have completed the color wheel, we can only see the original colors, right? So another term for color is hue, which refers to a color on its purest way. So colors vary on intensity or, or lightness. So let's start with saturation. Saturation refers to the intensity or the strength of the color. Uh, this depends on if the color is vibrant or if the color is more subtle. Then we have value, and this refers to colors that are darkened or lighter. So now we just have to fill in the color wheel. And this is by adding white, black, or gray to the hues. So if I grab a hue and I add a white to it, this creates a tint. And now if I grab a hue and I add gray, I get a tone. So if I grab a hue and I add black, I get a shade. So now that we have completed the color wheel, we can divide it into two, warm and cool colors. In the warm section, we can find red, orange, and yellow. And on the cool colors, we can find violet, blue, and green. Okay guys, so this is where all the excitement begins. Now we're gonna learn how to combine these colors and this is called color harmony which is how we combine the colors creating a pleasing contrast. So let's start with monochromatic. Monochromatic uses tints, tones and shades of one hue or color. So let's see an example. So for the bottom I'm wearing my red dress with white flowers and for the top I'm wearing a tone of red which makes a nice contrast between them. Um, don't worry about using patterns when you're combining your clothes. As long as you're wearing the right colors, they will look really nice together. So let's go ahead and jump to the next combination. Now we have complementary, which are two hues opposite of each other. Sometimes the eye might not like this combination because it's a little too bright. But that's why we can manipulate it with tones, shades, and tints. Let's see an example. So I wanted to combine my blue top with thin stripes and you can see that the blue is the dominant color and so when I went to my color wheel the complementary color was orange and, but the color was too bright so I manipulated it to have a tone of orange and you can see right here that it makes a nice contrast and great combination. Now let's talk about analogous. Analogous are colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. For example, if we want to combine our blue, we see that right next to it we have a blue with violet and then violet. You are not forced to use these three colors exactly how they look in the color wheel. You can manipulate them as well, as I mentioned before, with tints, tones, and shades. So let's see an example. So I wanted to combine my magenta top in an analogous combination, and so I went to my color wheel and so that the two colors right next to it were violet and blue. So I grab my flowy pants, which are a tint of violet on the video. You can see them a little bit like gray, but in person they're actually super light violet. And for the blue, I combine my jean jacket, which is a tint of blue. And you can see right here that it's a nice analogous combination. So now I'm gonna talk about triadic, which are colors evenly spaced on the color wheel creating a triangle. As I mentioned before, you can manipulate these colors and you can choose one color 
to be featured and the rest just to be complementary to it. So let's see an example. So for this triadic combination, I wanted to use the primary colors. So for yellow, I'm wearing my light brown blazer, which is, you know, a tone of yellow. And for the blue, I'm wearing my denim dress. And for the red, I'm using my red purse. So you don't necessarily need to wear the three colors, but as you can see here, I'm using the brown blazer and the denim dress. And as an accessory, I'm using the red purse. So this is how you can combine the colors using accessories or maybe the shoes can be that color to form that combination. So now we have the split complementary. So instead of using the complementary color, we're gonna use the colors that are right next to it. Let's see an example. So for this split complementary combination, I decided to combine my green dress, which is actually a shade of green. And I went to my color wheel and the split complementary the first one is a red-orange tertiary color. And so you can see the blazer I'm using more like an orange. And for the shoes, I'm wearing a tone of orange for the boots. Then the second split complementary color is the red-violet tertiary color. And luckily I found this top with this red-violet flowers on it. So these colors create a pleasing combination. And honestly, guys, I didn't know I could combine these colors without looking at the color wheel. So now we have the Tradic, which forms a perfect square using two complementary color pairs. Let's see an example. So for the Tetradic, I decided to use the combinations of green and red and orange and blue. And I'm wearing the green as a dominant color, so you can see a shade of green. And for its complementary color, I'm using a red bandana. Now for the blue, I'm wearing a denim jacket. And for its complementary color, I'm using a tone of orange. So again, you don't need to wear all, all of these colors, but you can wear accessories to combine these colors. Something that I will advise you guys is to download an app where you can have the color wheel. You can see on your phone or your computer, whatever, but for example, I'm showing you here in this app that I have the whole color wheel and then let's say I want to, um, I have my red sweater and I just want to combine it with its complementary color, but I don't remember what's the complementary color. So here you can see that it's green. And let's say I want to add uh, white to it. You can manipulate here the intensity of it or I don't know, I want to do the split complementary. You know, here's where you can see all the color combinations, so it's really helpful. Another thing that I would like to advise you is to just create an album on your phone with pictures or things you see in social media so that you can inspire yourself and just start creating with your clothes. So please don't be afraid of wearing color. You can express yourself even more by doing it. Don't be afraid. You can do it. And if you have more questions or anything, just let me know on my Instagram. It's Mara Queen Designs. You can also subscribe so that you can see more tips. And also don't forget to like it and share it to your friends. See you guys next time. Bye.